Hi, and thanks for checking out Heap. My name is Kevin, and today we'll be talking about Paths, which is Heap's newest reporting module that uses auto capture data to help you understand how users move through your product or site. There are two types of path reports that you can build in Heap. The first one is user paths going out of some start event, which helps you answer questions like, what do users do after logging in? Or what are the next steps that a user takes after opening a re-engagement email? The second type of report is user paths going into some destination or goal event. This helps you answer questions like, what is the sequence of events that users take before reaching out to support? Or what is the user journey leading up to adoption of a particular feature? For our example today, we're going to be using a demo site similar to Airbnb, where users can explore properties, book stays, contact hosts, and things of that nature. Let's start with the basic question. What do users do after hitting the homepage? I'll start by selecting which types of events to include. I can analyze raw, auto-captured page views, as well as defined events, which are auto-captured behaviors that I've applied a semantic name to. Here, I'll choose both to make sure that I can see everything, whether or not I've thought to track it. Next, I'll select from as my path type, and finally, I'll choose view app home as my start event. Optionally, I can also add a filter to only include certain types of users or user segments, but for this report, I'll just include all users. When I click Run Query, I can see the top paths that users take after viewing the home page. Each node represents an event that a user took after the preceding action, and the percentage tells me the proportion of all user flows that followed this path from the start event. The gray bar here at the bottom indicates drop-off, representing the percentage of users who bounced, in this case, immediately following the home page. I also have the option to exclude certain events. In this report, I might want to ignore cases of users returning to the home page, so I can click exclude, which will recalculate the report. Now let's dig into one of the paths. My product team has recently invested in an exploratory page that lets users discover interesting experiences near the places where they book stays. Let's see what users do after navigating there from the homepage. When I click on that node, I can see all of the following paths from this second action. The goal of the experiences page is to ultimately drive users to book. So I can drill into that path and get a sense of how common that particular flow is. In order to better understand that, I may want to reverse this report and dig into how users are most commonly finding a listing to book. So this time I'll choose into as my path type and I'll choose click book as my goal event. In this report, I can see all paths leading into the click book action, which most commonly happens on the property page, but can also happen through a quick book option that we have on our property list page. In this example, I want to point out this other section at the bottom. Heap has automatically captured a lot of other paths that fall outside of defined events. So let's see how we can make sense of those. Using a defined property, I can group together similar page types, which helps me consolidate and synthesize common patterns in the auto capture data and apply them to my paths report. In this example, we have a rule set which groups pages together based on conditions that I can set here so I can easily add a grouping for the recommended listings page. Now when I return to the paths report, I have a much smaller other section, but I can also see that there are a noticeable number of users who book right from the recommendations page. I hadn't thought to track this page originally, but Heap's auto capture helped me understand and quantify the bookings that come from this page. Our goal is to help teams make business decisions with truth. Paths is a great way to explore that truth in order to better understand how users behave in your product. Thanks.